Hello everyone, welcome to next video of Ignite. In this section, let's discuss some JE sample questions from the topic permutation and combination. Okay. Permutation is the arrangement of items in which order matters, and combination is the selection of items in which order does not matter. The expression for NPR. This term is used to find the number of ways of arrangement. And the term NCR is used to find the number of ways of selection. This is for arrangement and this is for selection. The expression for NPR equal N factorial by N minus R factorial. And NCR equal N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. Where N is total number of object and R is the number of choosing object from the set. But we can solve NPR and NCR without formula. For example, 7P3. By using formula, N factorial by N minus R factorial. That means 7 factorial by 4 factorial. But without formula, we can written as 7 into 6 into 5. Product of 3 numbers from 7 in descending order. That means 7 into 6 into 5. Another example 10p4, 10 into 9 into 8 into 7. And NCR, that means 7c2, 7 into 6, 2 numbers, 7 into 6 by 1 into 2. 10c3, then 3 numbers, 10 into 9 into 8 by 1 into 2 into 3. Next, very important formula, NCR equal to NC, N minus R. That means 10c8, same as 10c2, 7c5 equal 7c2, 5c4 equal 5c1. For large value of R, use this formula. For example, 20C15 equal 20C5. Next, NCN equal to 1. That means 10C10 equal to 1. NC0 equal to 1. Okay. Try to by heart this factorial from 0 factorial to 7 factorial. First question, a committee of 11 members is to be formed from 8 males and 5 females. If M is the number of ways the committee is formed with at least 6 males and N is the number of ways the committee is formed with at least 3 females, then from this question, M is the number of ways the committee is formed with at least 6 males. At least 6 males means greater than or equal to 6. Maximum number? 8, 8 males. So, greater than or equal to 6. 6, 7 or 8. Next, N is the number of ways the committee is formed with at least 3 females. At least 3 means greater than or equal to 3. Maximum 5 females. So, 3, 4, 5. So, possible combinations are total we have to select 11 members. A committee of 11 members is to be formed. So, possible combinations are 6 male, then 5 females. 7, 4 and 8, 3. So, the number of ways the committee is formed with satisfying these two conditions equal to 8, C, 6 and 5, C, 5. This is first combination. Or, or means plus. 8, C, 7, then 5, C, 4. Or, 8, C, 8 and 5, C, 3. Then we get final answer 78. Option C. Next question. If 35C n plus 7 equal 35C 4n minus 2, then write the value of n. Given that 35C n plus 7 equal 35C 4n minus 2. But using this property, ncx equal ncy implies n equal to x plus y or x equal to y. n equal to x plus y. That means 35 equal to n plus 7 plus 4 n minus 2. Then we get n equal to 6. And x equal to y. That means n plus 7 equal to 4 n minus 2. Therefore, then we get n equal to 3. So, the values of n 6 comma 3. Next, third question, the value of sigma 50 minus r c6 for r belongs to 0, 20 is equal to. 
write this expression by expanding that means sigma r equal to 0 to 20 50 minus r c6 equal 50 c6 plus 49 c6 plus etc 30 c6 last term is 30 c6 to simplify add and subtract 30 c7 by using this property ncr plus ncr minus 1 equal n plus 1 cr here 30 c6 plus 30 c7 take highest value bottom side take highest value here 30 c6 plus 30 c7 equal 31 c7 31 c7 consider these two terms again 31 c6 plus 31 c7 we get 32 c7 like that finally we get 51 c7 and the term 30 c7 okay the answer is 51 c7 minus 30 c7 answer option 3 i hope all questions are clear thank you all keep watching for more videos